I'm going to show you how to fit your hunter's element pack properly. A well fitted pack is crucial to being able to carry heavy loads over long distances. To do this we're going to start by locating our C7 vertebra. To do this tilt your head forward and look at the floor. Using your hand locate the most prominent bone in the base of your neck. Next we're going to find our iliac crest. To do this locate the top of your hip bone and draw a straight horizontal line around to your spine at the back. Measure the distance from your iliac crest to your C7 vertebra and this is the starting point for the length of our harness. Now lay your pack flat on its back, undo the waist straps and loosen off the shoulder straps. Now we want to match our back length measurement from the centre of the hip belt to the first row of stitching on our shoulder pad. To adjust this up or down we're going to use the webbing and buckle hidden behind our airflow panel. Now that we've got the back length roughly fitted, it's time to try it on for size. Start by doing up the hip belt. We want the top of our hip bones to be in the centre of the padding. Snug this up nice and tight so it's bearing the bulk of the weight. Next, we're going to adjust our shoulder straps. We don't want these overly tight, we just want them snug. If your back length's too long, you'll have gaps between your shoulder and the shoulder pads. If it's too short, the hip belt will ride up above your hips. Next, we're going to apply some tension to our load lifters. We're going to put just enough grunt on these to pull the weight in against your shoulders and no more. Next, do up the sternum strap. Just apply a little bit of tension on this to help control where the shoulder straps are in relation to your body. You want the bulk of the weight on the hips and less on the shoulders, but you can adjust the balance between these two areas by shortening and tightening up your shoulder straps. 